that was loud. Oh, I see you. Oh, hi there, Freddy Rico. Hey, come back out here, dude. What are you doing? You're supposed to come out here and see everybody, man. Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Fred and I were back home from the big old state of Texas crane hunting. Crane hunting. Y'all better be ready because tomorrow the crane video drops. We did a catch and cook too. They call it the rib eye of the sky for a reason. I'm just going to leave it at that. But like I said, don't miss that video. It will drop tomorrow morning. But yeah, Texas was amazing. I just want to do a little Foul Friday style of video in between the two videos because I only got two videos in Texas. You know what I'm saying? And I got something new to show y'all. And I want to test it. Got a full choke, a whole different brand, extra full choke for the Rite. And uh, I want to compare them. I'm going to take the uh, mod, the mod choke that was in there, and I want to put it up against the extra full that I bought. I'm not going to tell you what brand it is yet, but y'all are going to be pumped because a lot of you guys use this brand as well. And it's sweet. It looks gorgeous. Uh, She's going to be tight. I'm telling you, the pattern is going to be tight. Yeah, see, uh huh, uh huh. Fred and I, we were supposed to hunt today, but it was raining when we woke up and I'm like, nope, not gonna do that. Y'all know what happens when Bob decides to go hunting in the rain. Come on, Fred, let's go. I use my socks and every time I use my socks in the rain, they gotta sit in that shop and they gotta dry out for literally an entire week and I can't use them, I can't hunt with them. You know what I mean? It, le it ends up leaving me stranded. So hunting in the rain with socks, that's a no-go anymore. Come on, Fred, load up. Oh, darn, that was a long jump. You Michael Jordan, that bad boy. Good lordy, boy. Jeez, he about missed it. He took such a long jump. But, like I was saying, got a full choke. I'm excited about it. And, not only that, but Rite, the Rite's been treating me really well. I've been shooting it a bunch, and boy, howdy, it drops them birds. So I was like, you know what? I need a full choke for it anyways. Getting to use awesome new products. So we will get to that in just a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of scouting on the way to the spot. But before we get trucking here, I really wanna give a huge thank you to you guys. Uh, a lot of times I don't get to do this at the beginning of the videos. Guys, uh, I put a picture up on my Instagram yesterday and it was just a little bit of my inspiration, a little bit of my thank you, of my inspiration, why I do this, and just positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what Bobby's about out here. Just staying positive through the thick, through the thin. You guys need to do that too. Please, please, please enjoy this. While you're on this spinning planet in the middle of nowhere and you have no control, just remember there isn't anybody else that has any more control than you do. Go get it. Go get what you can while you can while you're on this planet. I know that I am out here just preaching and you're like, whoa, Bob. Whoa, 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 preacher Bob. Just, uh, I've been appreciative a lot. And and with all this going on, you guys, and everything that happens and is happening in my life, I just want to make sure that uh, I stay humble at all times. And you guys help me do that so much. And I enjoy this. This is something that is a dream come true so thank you guys uh for being here yet again uh head on over to my instagram check out that picture read it put it in the bank you know what i mean put it in the old memory bank and uh just learn something from it because without you guys i wouldn't learn as much as i do every single day and it, it, it's about humanity and being and being nice being loving being caring not being so judgmental. We all know, uh, I think what I'm getting at here is the hunting community, y'all, especially the younger guys out there. No, I'm not picking you guys apart by no means. All I'm saying, it's easy for people just to start judging and talking smack. Oh, yeah, that, that guy Travis, yeah, he don't know how to kill birds, yada, yada. It's, oh, come on, that's the easy thing to say. Be nice to one another. If you don't know somebody and maybe you've heard something bad, don't just go out and and just rely on what that bad thing is. Don't just rely on what some people say about somebody else. Get to know somebody before you cast your own opinion. You know what I mean? All right, my done my my preaching spells over. I it was kind of I rambled there, but I hope I got my point across. But I'm mumbling, I'm rambling. Um 
head on over to my Instagram, give me a follow, check out the last picture I posted, read the description. That's that's what I'm referring to. Uh, go over there, drop a comment. Let me know you went over there. Well, we are pulling into the old shooting spot here. This is a spot where we did uh, all the shotgun tests. The uh, mud in the barrel. Uh, what else did we do? The three and a half and a three inch chambered gun. All those videos, this is where we did them. It's real nice on days like this because we have a really, really steady north wind and it's pretty cold. It's really in here, surrounded by trees, so it makes it real nice. Gives you a nice wind break, nice place to chatter and shoot your gun. Well, we got our somewhat set up here. And oh, look at that. Goodness, we got. We got hot piles everywhere. Woo. Woo. Watch your step. Look at the old tire here. Oh, oh man. Woo, it stinks out here. The farmer's got some got some cattle out here. But let's get underway here. So uh, this is the setup. I got my plywood board here like I always do for my pattern videos. I forgot my stapler to hold this down. We got our mark where we need to aim. And we are going to be back there. Now, I'm sure y'all are like, Bobby, what choke are you talking about? Here we go. Bam! Look at that bad boy. Bronze looking beauty. This is the Pattern Master Code Black Goose Choke, y'all. And this is fitted for my Rite. Now on my Rite, like I said, I've been running this bad boy. This is a True Lock Modified Choke. And it's been getting the job done pretty darn good. But if y'all know me very well, I like my full choke. I like to have a full choke in my gun. I like to run number two shot, three inch number two with a full choke. So I know right now a lot of you are gonna be going, Bobby, what about your Carlson Cremator? I thought you loved it. Yes, I do love that on my Franke, but on this gun, I wanna try a new setup. I wanna try different brands. I just wanna see what all's out there pretty much, you know? I wanna try my options. You never know, there could be a better setup. I wanna try some things. I don't like just being stagnant on one product, on one brand all the time. I like to see what all's out there. But y'all, this Pattern Master is an extra full. It adds an extra inch and a half to the end of your gun. And it, I'm just gonna read it right from the website. It says it adds an extra inch and a half to the end of your gun to achieve an effective range out to 70 yards. They claim that this choke is indeed deadly out to 70 yards, y'all. That is a far shot. But uh, this is where I, I think a lot of y'all right now are going, Bobby, Bobby, you can't use steel. No steel in a full choke. Listen guys, it's per brand, it's per choke. You gotta read the box, you gotta read the description and see what it will accommodate. Just like the code black here, it says this tube is not to be used with slug ammunition or ammunition that contains a wad slash shot cup design as flight control or in flight separation. What they're saying there is just for example, Federal Black Cloud, they have a flight control wad. You ca I cannot shoot Black Cloud through the Code Black goose choke from Pattern Master, y'all. It'll probably get lodged. It's not designed to accommodate that type of wad. You know what I'm saying? So, just like that, make sure you read the description of your choke before you go shoving T-shot through it or something like that. You know what I mean? So first, just to see what all's going on here, we are gonna use the modified choke from True Lock, and we're gonna combine it with the Federal Number no. Two Blue Box. This is my favorite shell, y'all. A lot of y'all have asked, Bob, what type of shell do you prefer for ducks and geese? Ducks, geese, both. Snow geese, it don't matter. Honkers, anything. Number Two Federal Three Inch Speed Shock, y'all. It's the best, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I love it. I, I swear by this stuff. But we're gonna do the modified first and then follow it up with the Pattern Master to see the difference. So we are sitting back here at roughly 20 yards, 22 yards about. But first, modified choke, number two, three inch. Woo! That was loud. So I love shooting in here because like I said, it's surrounded by trees and it's so loud, it's like, it's awesome. 
But here we go. Uh, looks like it was just a hair low. I might have aimed just a hair low. This is the center of our pattern. And we're looking at... Eh, not bad. That's, that's only, what, seven. That's probably a good... Mm, 14, 15 inches. You know, from top to bottom. 20 yards. Not bad. Get a good look at that bad boy. Okay. Now let's switch to the Pattern Master. All right, well, this is the first time using the old Pattern Master. I'm excited. Same shell, same distance. Here we go. Woo! There we go. Oh, yeah, I can tell it's way tighter. I, I could tell I pulled to the right just a little bit when I pulled the trigger, so it's not on. Look how tight that is. Holy smokes, that's only like seven, eight, nine, ten inches at most. <laughs> now, my aim was absolutely horrendous here. I rushed my shot pretty badly, but this is the center. I was over a couple inches, but wow, look how tight that thing is. Boy, howdy, I'm excited to use this choke. Freddy! Oh, Freddy, come here, buddy. What do you think about that? Fred don't know what we're doing out here. He's like, dude, you're shooting, but where's the birds? Woo -hoo -hoo. It's cold out there, y'all. I mean, real cold. It's sitting at, it's only sitting at 34, but it's like misting and the wind's picking up out of the north. We have a system coming in this weekend, which is gonna make for some great goose hunting opportunities, but it's gonna get really nasty, really wet and really cold, it sounds like. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, I don't mind using the Canada Silhouettes when it's raining because they're really easy to dry. But the socks, no go on the socks if it's raining. But that was a really good test. It only took me two shots. I was really hoping I would have been a little more on target on the second shot. Uh, but we're going to take these back to the shop. I'm going to put a tape measure on them because I want to... Do you hear all that racket? That is all the cow manure collecting rocks and flying off my tires yep but we're gonna take these back to the shop we're gonna put a tape measure on them we're gonna measure the difference because so I'm really interested to see the difference at 20 yards now you can really uh, that's only at 20 yards that's very 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 close that's a close shot you know what I mean so if there's that much difference at 20 yards think about the difference at 30 35 40 yards at 30 40 45 yards that is where the extra full choke really comes into effect it's going to hold a tighter pattern at a longer distance that is why pattern master claims to be able to dead kill birds effectively at 70 yards with this choke y'all uh pretty pretty awesome I'm excited to have the shot cam on the barrel and uh, get a really good shot of me smacking a goose with this bad boy. If y'all want me to do that, drop a comment down below and let me know. And if you guys like these style of videos where we go out, we pattern a gun, or maybe the Mythbuster videos. Now with the Mythbuster videos, y'all, you know, like the three and a half shell in, in, in a three inch chamber and then, you know, putting the barrel underwater and seeing what happens type of deal those videos youtube doesn't like so i don't know like how in depth i can go on those videos you know what i'm saying because they don't like them and when they keep getting demonetized it really starts affecting the channel it doesn't affect it just on the money aspect it affects it on them you know promoting my videos and suggesting them to y'all so i don't want to get black flagged that's that's for sure but if you guys want me to do a video like this maybe with a different choke maybe with a different gun maybe Anything y'all are thinking, just drop your comment down below. Give me your video suggestions. I appreciate it. Bubba, do what? you want a popsicle? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, let's see if we got any. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Somebody's happy. <laughs> uh, someone's waiting patiently. Here you go, bub. Oh, yum stuff. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's raining. Oh, hi, Fred. Come on, inside, inside. Yeah, it's real cold, bub. It's nasty. It's raining. It's wet. The boys are in the garage here, and uh, us three are hanging out, and I figured Bubba, he wanted to come out and help us. We're going to measure our patterns and see what that's all about here. <laughs> Got my little helper today. Bub, bub, 
Everybody wants to know, are you going to grow up to be a duck hunter like daddy? Uh-huh. Are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows what he'll do in life? What do you want to do, Bubba? Do you want to be a duck hunter? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. He can't wait to go shoot them ducks. You want to go pretty bad, don't you? Yeah. So Bodie is now two and a half and he is just ripping and roaring to uh, to go hunting. If you guys, if you out there, if you are a dad and if you have little ones like Harper and Bodie, Harper is my little girl and she is five now, five and a half. Bodie's two and a half. His Fred. You love your Fred, don't you? He said do like this. Yeah, he's going to sit down tell him to sit. 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 <laughs> Here, Fred. Here. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Is Freddy your boy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's been ripping and roaring, wanting to go hunting. If you're a dad, what age was your little girl or little boy before you took them on their first hunt? I know some people has, have told me two years old. Some people's told me five years old. Uh, but I think... I think Bodie's ready. I think the only thing is, it's just it's so cold, you know? That's the only thing at this age that I'm nervous to take Bodie on. Maybe an early, maybe an early duck hunt next season will be his first one. Heck, maybe, you know what? This summer, we're going to have to get you on some pigeon hunts for sure. Uh -huh. But I think right, yeah, you want to go pigeon hunting, Buck? Uh -huh. Yeah. But I think right now it's just so cold, you know? He, he'd be struggling. But here we go. <laughs> But here we go, here is our patterns, and we're gonna measure them, bub. You wanna help? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the modified, and the body of that shot is gonna be 15 inches, and then from top to bottom, it's gonna be 19 and a half with the modified choke. All right, switch some spots, bub. All right, now, so here is the Pattern Master full, extra full, and I'll tell you from top to bottom, just not the body of it, Top to bottom, you're looking at 14 and a half inches. Now, the actual body of the pattern, you're looking at nine inches. That is incredible. Check that out. Body of the pattern this way, you're looking, shoot, you're looking at probably seven inches. Wow. So, at 30, 40, 50, 70 yards, that's why they claim to be able to down birds effectively at 70 yards with this choke, y'all. Now remember, this is with a three inch number two steel shot. Like I said earlier, if you buy extra full chokes or full chokes in general, you need to make sure you read the description of that choke and really read what it's capable of doing. Just like this choke, the Pattern Master Code Black Goose, it is not able to shoot black cloud because of the flight control wad. So, some fools won't even accept any steel at all. So just make sure you read. <sighs> but if you guys like these Foul Friday videos, like I said before, please drop a comment down below. They're not ever going to be the most, the, the longest video. They're not going to be the best videos. Oh, excuse me. But there's going to be some information in them. That's what they're here for. Oh, bless you, bub. But be sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when I upload. And like I said earlier, be expecting the crane hunt from Texas to be coming. We did a catch clean cook and oh my goodness, you don't want to miss this video coming. Yeah. Look at that. Them all your decoys? Yeah. Yeah, he's ready, dude. I'm sure. Are you ready to go hunting with daddy? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go hunt these birds. You want to go hunting birds? Yeah. Yeah. But if you want to help support the channel, head on down to the description and click on the Ducks link. Anytime y'all purchase something from Ducks, it goes directly to the channel and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. So me and old Bubba, we appreciate it, don't we, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how these birds. Yeah, hold on, Buck. But until next time, y'all. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that keeps it real